Hello and welcome back to my channel. We're talking currently about uh, topics in genetics and today we're going to talk about the process in which we make two identical daughter cells from one originating mother cell. This process is called mitosis and let's go through it. So it has different phases which I will explain now one after the other. The first one is the interface in which the chromosomes are in the work form so they are dispersed all over the nucleus. Also the nucleus and the nuclear envelope are clearly visible. You can see them here in the smaller circle within the cell. The two other circles there on the top part of the cell they are the spindle apparatus, which will become more apparent and more developed in the later phases. The next phase is the prophase. Here the chromosomes coil up and become more condensed or more coiled in their form. And they also form this X shape, which you maybe know from the choreogram, for example. Also, the nuclear envelope starts to dissolve and the spindle apparatus forms these thread-like extensions. The spindle apparatus is a protein complex originating from different parts in the cell and it will form these spindles, that's why it's called spindle apparatus, which attach to the chromosomes, but that comes later. So far, only the chromosomes coiled up and some proteins formed within the cell for forming the spindle apparatus later. The next phase is the meta phase. And it's not only in the middle of the process, but also here the chromosomes align in the meta plane. So they all align next to each other um, yeah, in this plane. And now the spindle apparatus has a very important role because the fibers, which we saw developing already in the prior phase, in the pro phase, now attach to the centromeres of the chromosomes. If you don't know what a centromere is, you can go back to my first video of genetics, the introduction to genetics, there I explain what it is. The next phase is the ana phase. And here, the chromosomes with the attached uh, fibers on the centromere are pulled away from each other. And just to recap it here, the chromosomes are two sister chromatids which are connected onto each other at the centromere. So now a spindle attaches to the right centromere, uh, to the right um, sister chromatid and to the left sister chromatid by the centromere and then the spindles become shorter and pull the uh, chromatids away from each other towards the poles. And now you can see here in the anaphase in the picture that the cell is also a little bit elongated. That just indicates that the cell is about to divide and this is the first process of pulling them apart from each other. As you can see here also, the poles are kind of like the North Pole and the South Pole on opposite sides of the cell and they just will uh, enhance this pulling away from each other. In the telophase, now the chromosomes or the chromatids are divided from each other and they are within the nuclear envelope which just formed again in this phase and the chromosomes start to become more diffuse again. So they uncoil, they're in this work form, um, kind of like when a bundle of wool is kind of like thrown through a room, which is the nucleus in this case, and the uh, uh, chromosomes are all over the nucleus. The spindle apparatus also starts to disappear because it has completed its job for this cell division and it's not needed anymore right now. Also, you can see here that the cytoplasm already starts to kind of fold in, uh, which is the next step in the division of those two cells. 
The last phase is the cytokinesis, where the cytoplasm is completely divided from each other. And now we have two identical daughter cells with a complete set of chromosomes, each one spindle apparatus and enough cytoplasm to be able to um, yeah, go into the cell cycle, which I will explain probably tomorrow. And um, yeah, we completed a cell division. I know these phases can be a lot. Maybe it's good to just go through it uh, slowly again, maybe go back if you have to. But I can try to maybe help you memorizing uh, all these phases with a mnemonic that helped me when I first studied in mitosis. I memorized it as intelligent people memorize all the cycles. And as you can see, the um, mnemonic stands for all the phases. So interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase and cytokinesis. To wrap it all up again, so we have the spindle apparatus which forms, which pulls the chromatids apart and then the cytoplasm which falls in and um, yeah, separates the now two cells from each other. That's it for today. I hope everything was clear and see you in the next video. If you liked it, I would be very happy if you could subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much.